Since 1993, the North Carolina Zoo has been involved with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other American zoos in an effort to save one of North America's most endangered animals, the red wolf. Their numbers reduced by loss of habitat to expanding human populations and hunting by agricultural interests, fewer than 30 red wolves remained in the wild until a fish and wildlife recovery program was launched in the 1970s that included captive breeding in zoos. Now, the only wild red wolves in the world are found in a five-county area around the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in eastern North Carolina. Bud Fazio, team leader for the Red Wolf Recovery Project, tells us how the wolves have been faring in recent years. The population has uh, built high enough in numbers that the red wolves are sustaining themselves. They are permanent residents on the peninsula now and we're really pleased that they're taking care of themselves in the wild since our initial restoration efforts uh, began in 1987. So we have gone from having no red wolves in the wild to a situation where today we have over 100 red wolves in the wild, uh, roughly uh, 120. We're very pleased with that. We know how to control the problem of interbreeding coyotes. We know how to build a red wolf population and we expect increasing success every year in doing that. An important part of the Red Wolf Recovery Program is our captive breeding effort, where zoos and other institutions cooperate nationwide to conserve the Red Wolf gene pool. In the field, we have fostered roughly a dozen Red Wolf pups into the wild during the past three years. By educating the public through our Red Wolf exhibit back at the zoo and supporting the Fish and Wildlife Service program, the zoo is helping bring the Red Wolf back from the brink of extinction. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at nczoo.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files.